Next up, I am going to crack open a copy of Return of the Witch Lord Quest Pack for the Hero Quest board game. This is the new Hero Quest from Avalon Hill and Hasbro. This is going to be a quest expansion, which should have some more miniatures, as well as possibly some new features, some new punch-outs, and a new adventure, just like the Colors Keep expansion. What I do expect, having already seen Colors Keep, is that we will just have more of the same sculpts, and if this is true to the original expansion, it's going to be a bunch of undead this time. So here you have the Return of the Witch Lord quest pack as you get it. Note, there is no shrink wrap on this. Instead, we have plastic uh, stickers basically holding everything closed. So I'm just going to cut those quickly with a hobby knife. And let's take a look at what we get in the box for Return of the Witch Lord. Start off with an adventure book, which should have. We have an alchemist shop, which includes some new potions. Uh, these may be the same potions that are in the other expansion. I'm not certain. We have the quest book, including what you have here, including an iron entrance door and a wooden exit door. Um, some new tiles, it looks like we're going to see. A new throne room. Then we have how to play it and a message from Mentor that introduces the adventure which I am going to guess is a 10-part adventure, but we're going to take a quick look. We're on Quest 9, Quest 10. So, as usual, you have your, your standard quest format, you have a conclusion, and then you have a list of the artifacts that come in this expansion. We're going to take a look at what those components look like. So we have a folded over, fairly thin punch board. This is one of my um, things I'm not overly impressed with with the new edition of Hero Quest, is how thin these cardboard counters are. They could have been much thicker. I do appreciate overlays to make whole rooms, though. That is a nice touch, including new secret doors, portals, and it looks like we got some graves to worry about and some spookiness going on over here. The fact that there's a golden throne here instead of a throne miniature is a bit disappointing. I would want to put the throne on there. Inside the box, we've got our new exit door and entrance door. Interestingly, the same exit and exit door you get with Keller's Keep. So you're going to have two copies of these if you have both expansions. Which I guess makes sense because you can't count on everyone buying both. Not everyone is a completionist who buys board games. We've got a set of cards, which we'll quickly go through. All of the cards in Hero Quest come with these paper seals, which is a nice um, alternative to plastic. So we have some new equipment, which should be our four new potions. Potion of Battle, Dexterity, Restoration, and Venom Antidote, all featuring um, nice line artwork. Then we're going to have artifacts specific to this. So we have quite a few. So we have five brand new artifacts and five spell scrolls. Again, spell scrolls were also in the Colors Keep expansion. Then we've got our miniatures, which as expected are more copies of the ones in the base game including we've got skeletons, which you can see up the top. we got one that turned here a bit, but that's not really a problem. Uh, one of the things you will find with these miniatures, they are made of a, a rather bendable plastic that we've been seeing can end up, uh, well, not a good color here, sorry, a little bit bent during shipping. So that's a slight disappointment. But again, this is a mass market board game, not a hobby board game, and you shouldn't expect Games Workshop quality miniatures when you're looking at that. There are probably people all over the internet telling you how to um, fix these by boiling them and dipping them in cold water or something. Personally, unless I'm going to sit down and paint these, I'm not too worried. Then we have new zombies. So, new skeletons, new zombies. And that's it. Some new cards, a 10-part adventure, new tiles for playing those adventures, Return of the Witch Lord Quest Pack for Hero Quest. Looks cool. Well, I'm surprised by how much overlap there is between this and Keller's Keep. You've got the Alchemist Shop added in both. You've got the entrance and exit doors added in both, including miniatures for exit and exit doors. Um, and then miniatures that match the miniatures in the core set. Even the artifacts, there's an overlap where you have um, spell scrolls in both expansions. Uh, to be honest, though, it matches exactly what Games Workshop did with these expansions as well. I think someone in marketing at some point was like, you must put out expansions. And they're like, oh, what to do here? We made some scenarios and let's throw some new counters in there. Kind of feels the same, which I guess is nostalgic, which is the main thing this new edition of Kicks of uh, Hero Quest seems to be aiming for. 